Hi, I'm Jan Ozer. Sometimes you want to stream to internal viewers on your intranet, and sometimes to outside viewers on the intranet, and sometimes you want to stream to both. If you produce for both intranet and internet viewing, you should know about the DVO Magnus Anytime family of products, which combines the DVO Magnus encoder and Real Network's Helix server to enable multiple screen delivery both inside and outside your firewall. All Magnus Anytime units incorporate dual 8-core Xeon processors with 32 gigabytes of RAM and run Linux. The base price is $2595, to which you have to add the cost of your input cards. You drive the encoder server from a browser on a computer with network access to the unit. The tabs on top break the system's operation into key functional areas. System status monitors the system, the available inputs, and network and license information. Stream setup is where you configure your encoded streams. We'll come back here in a moment. Helix setup is for the internal distribution server. We'll come back here as well. Apps setup is for these applications. While systems setup controls these operations and configurations. A typical use case scenario would be a stadium or similar facility that needs to send one set of streams to a CDN for internet delivery while delivering to mobile viewers internally. Here's how you might configure the system to meet that use case. You start by defining the streams. We're using only a single input, though the capture hardware on this system can handle up to four inputs. We're building two groups of adaptive streams. The first is configured for RTMP push for delivery to the CDN for internet viewing. The unit provides good control over general and H.264 specific encoding parameters. Tweakers will appreciate the advanced options available here. The second group of files are to send to the Helix server for internal distribution. You can configure these as desired, but you should format them as an MPEG-2 transport stream and push them to the Helix server via UDP. The server itself implements a full version of Real Network's Helix server with support for HLS, Dash, Flash, multiple flavors of RTSP, server playlists, and stream bookmarking. To set up broadcasting, we enter the MPEG-2 transport stream live page and make sure that MPEG-2 transport stream input is enabled. Since we've enabled all bit rates down here, all streams will be received and rebroadcasted. The Flash and RTMP streams are created automatically from this input. To enable HLS, go to HLS Setup, type in the server hostname IP address, and enable the source path you set up in the encoder, in this case MPTS Live. This is a one-time configuration. Next time you stream using the same inputs, HLS output will be automatic. Note the three options here for stream encryption. Configuring Dash is very similar to HLS. If you have a Dash compatible player ready, you should be good to go. And you can create an archive version for later reuse. Let's go back to stream setup to make sure the streams are up and running. Yep, they've been up for about 10 minutes. And we can monitor the streams in the Helix server monitoring function. The two encoders tell us that both groups of files are being encoded. Now any computer or mobile device with access to the URL can play the stream. On this computer, I can test the HLS stream in VLC Player. That's working fine. And now let's test the Flash streams in the Moya FLV Player. Flash is working as well. Both sets of streams are up and running. There are lots of streaming encoders out there and lots of media servers, but the DVO Magnus Anytime product line is one of the few that combines both functions, creating a powerful value proposition for producers who need to supply simultaneous internal and external streams. I'm Jan Ozer. Thanks for watching.